family, I have returned and this has been a super duper duper requested review. Not a review, just kind of a, um, I don't know, since I, I once did a video on how to line your eye right on top like that. I don't have it here today, but usually I wear a liner on top right above or right on my lid. And since I got that, I've been getting a lot on a lot of requests on how to do it here. And I'm just not getting to it. So, oh, I forgot to take it off. So, please excuse the delay on this. Um, but this is something that I've been doing for a while. I've been wearing an eyeliner under my uh, lower, on my waterline. I call this the waterline. I've been wearing that since maybe 11, 12th grade. And guess who taught me how to do it? My little sisters, yeah. Mm -hmm. They are four and five years younger than me, and these little heifers taught me how to do it. So that goes to show you that uh, I really am a newbie in a lot of areas, and a lot of my makeup techniques were uh, taught to me by people who were younger than me. So that's pretty interesting, don't you think? Um, this is probably one of the most difficult things to learn. It's not going to be something, and excuse me for being ghost right now, y'all. I'm trying to wipe this off my eye. Uh, it's not going to be something you get right away. It definitely takes a lot of practice, as with most makeup applications, you know. Um, but I want to just give you some basic tips and tools that you can use that can possibly help you do it. You know, grab the concept a little better, a little quicker. And I'll just tell you how I do it, and you can decide if that works for you or not. Of course, there's no right or wrong way to do anything in makeup. I mean, if it works for you, it works for you. So that is the most important thing to realize. Okay, so I just wiped, I had it on um, from today, and I think, now, nah, my face is still looking like, I don't know, like, like, seriously, like, something is going on here, and I don't know what it is, so don't laugh, okay? I'm sensitive about it, I'm very sensitive about it. No, I'm not really, I'm just kidding, but, okay, so I, the reason why I wear this is because I think it makes a huge difference in my overall appearance. I don't walk out of the house without wearing a little eyeliner, just because I feel more, I don't know, I guess I'm used to seeing myself like that, so it's hard to not see myself with it unless I'm going to bed, so. Um, and I'll just look right at the camera now, and you can tell me if there's a difference with this eye and difference with this eye. I can look in the mirror and tell, I don't know how well it's going to tell on, um, on the camera, but yeah, the liner here, it just gives you a little more, it kind of gives your eye a little more shape compared, I look like I am like <laughs> cockeyed or something. <laughs> I'm not really, y'all. Uh, I'm a caca. It just looks that way. But, I mean, if I was, I wouldn't care. You know, you ain't looking anything about it. But, um, I think it gives your eye a little more definition. Kind of gives you that almondy shape. So, that's kind of why I wear it. Okay. How many minutes am I at? Three already? Just on talking? Dang. So, my eyeliner choice is um, Urban Decay's. You know what? Instead of doing black, I'm going to do a color liner. That way, you may be able to see it better. These are from Urban Decay, and these are their 24-7 um, Glide on Eye Pencils, which you can get five of these for $30, which is really good because these liners are amazing. They are pigmented, they last long, and they're just really great, and they're small, so they're, you know, you can throw them in your purse or when you're traveling. So I love these. And um, they're long-lasting as well. I mean, just because they're short and little doesn't mean you're going to be out of it in a couple days. No, this will last you. You can get them. Someone's calling me. You can get them from Sephora and Sephora.com, and I highly recommend them. Okay, so I hold my pencil like this. Kind of have my pinky out. And I always rest my pinky kind of by my nose when I do my liner. That's just what I'm most used to. Of course, you can do it any way you want. Some people, I have a friend who kind of does hers like this. I don't know how she does all that. You know, I feel like I would put myself in the eye. But hey, it works. Her liner always looks good. So, yeah. I didn't even sharpen my pencil, y'all. I am all over the place again, man. Oh, well. It's become a trademark of my videos. When you watch my videos, I'm not going to have it all together right away. It's okay, though. <laughs> okay, there we go. It's nice and sharpened, but not too sharpened to the point where it's going to poke you in the eye. And that's what I like about these pencils. They don't get too sharp to where you feel like you're going to scratch your eyeball out. Okay? So, we got that. I rest my pinky on my nose and I start from the outside and because these are so great you don't have to kind of go over it more than once you can kind of just 
one, two, and I just kind of do it in small strokes. You see that? Just like that. It's not so hard. The trick is getting an eye pencil that is smooth. If you have to kind of keep going over and over and over again like that, then your pencil sucks and your eyes going to get irritated. It's going to start to water. And it's just craptastic. You don't want to have that now, do you? So I'm just adding a little bit more just for added drama. And there we go. You see that? That's it. Not so bad. And it looks good, you know? Like, look at that green. That's hot. I would do this, you know, if I want to pop off color without doing eyeshadow. It's great. And uh, this, these are also great for up there, too. And I, again, I've done a video on that. So if you want to learn how to put eyeliner on top like that on the lower lash line, you can check out that video as well. So that's it. Put your pinky on your by your nose and just kind of make small strokes right on the lower lash line. Take your time. Don't rush. And again, if you have a pencil that where you don't see a color right away, you probably have a pretty crappy pencil. And you want to invest in a good one because this is going by your eye. So you don't want to have to irritate it too much. That's the thing. It's the quality is the key here, kids. I mean, I also have, um, I'm an eye pencil kind of girl. So I have one by Milani, which is very smooth. I have some... I have Maybelline Unstoppable, which is not my favorite. It's It goes on smooth, but it does not last. It will water. This is my favorite by Urban Decay. This is a, um, it's called Electric, and it's like a bright turquoise. I have one by Clinique, which is very smooth. Um, so, And I have one by MAC, a pearl glider, or pearl liner, which is very smooth. So the key is um, finding some that are very smooth. NYXs are very good as well. So there's many of them out there for cheap. And, um... Yeah. Okay. I hope I helped you out a little bit. This is also going to be a post, so you can see the picture for me if you kind of, yeah, want to see picture by picture. So, that's all. Bye.